Kakashio Ulawan. I represent the good and resilient people of Borno Central Senatorial District. I am from Borno State, Northeastern Nigeria. The nominee standing before you, Professor Tai Maman, was my teacher, head of department, dean faculty of law, and dean student affairs while I was a student in the University of Bidubi. In part two, he taught me constitutional law and in part three, administrative law. I am very happy to inform these other chambers that I was a student union leader in the University of Medubi when he was the Dean of Student Affairs. <laughs> no trouble but doing Aluta. Comrade Koshomole is also my mentor then when he was a labor leader. Mr. President, Professor Tair Mamman is one of the best friends the University of Meduguri had and then the Nigeria Law School. As a lecturer in part two, he fraternized with students in the classroom freely. You ask him questions, he will answer, and then he will practically expose you to what the Constitution is and how it operates. The modus operandi of the powers of executive, legislature, and the judiciary is actually at our fingertips in part two. Mr. President, in part three, many students of the University of Medjugorje are not entitled to accommodation, but when he became the Dean of Student Affairs, he maneuvered his ways to ensure that all male students of part three in the University of Medjugorje were accommodated in the hostel. Not only that, he also gave us free hand as student unionists to operate in the, state, in the University of Medjugorje. Mr. President, that notwithstanding, we graduated from the University of Medjugorje while he left us halfway to the Nigerian Law School. At the Nigerian Law School, just like he rightly deposited, he was the Deputy Director General Pioneer DG in Kano Campus. He was later elevated to the prestigious rank of the Director General of the Nigerian Law School, where my very good friend and neighbor, distinguished Senator Wei Boy, was also a student at the law school. So we are not only two, but he has another, uh, he has another stand up for recognition. No, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President, sir, apart from this, when I became Attorney General of Bordeaux State, I had the real privilege of becoming a member of the Body of Ventures and then a member of the Council of Legal Education, even though it was for a very short period of time at the law school and then the Board of Ventures, I learned a lot from the nominee before us. While I associate myself with the, with the contribution of my learned senior, distinguished Senator Mohamed Monguno, I want to congratulate the nominee and also in the spirit of teacher lecturer relationship, I want to urge my colleagues to see this, <coughs> this is a best brain. Yeah. He can go to work in okay. any ministry you give him. He has two one in those days at the law school and both at the university. I urge my colleagues to kindly confirm his nomination. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. I will not waste any further time. This will be brief. So let us first. Yeah, maybe a well rehearsed citation or recommendation speech or testimony. Let's ignore that. Let us also ignore whether the testimony by this senator would determine at the end of the day the outcome of that screening, whether we were going to screen him in or screen him out at the end of the day. Let us also not. Let us also not worry or bother about whether his testimony will determine the outcome of the screening. Let's just assume for once, for once, that these testimonies count at all. And let us also bring it to your stead. And I'm talking to young lecturers who are just taking up appointments as lecturers at tertiary institutions or not even lecturers, maybe managers of 
maybe filling station, uh, canteen, restaurants, businesses, or anywhere, wherever you find yourself today, even in churches. Because this is a defining moment. It's an instructive moment. Let us assume that some of the people you supervise have something to tell about you 20 years after. What would they be saying? Let's even assume that whatever this man said here will not even determine the outcome of the screening for the person is testifying for. Let's, let's assume. But what if you will stand sometime in future, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, and some of the people who encountered you years back will have to stand and say something about you. What will they say? And that's a lecturer, that's a, that's a professor, a, a former lecturer to this young man. Imagine for young lecturers today who are luring female students into cozy code rooms. Those who are manipulating scores for selfish or sentimental reasons. I just hope people are learning. Let's learn. People can change. I study psychology and I know that behavioral change, attitudinal change is important. I understand not everybody will have the same personality, even at birth or from birth. But environment we call nurture. Because nature, we can nurture nature. Uh -huh. And it is through instructive materials like this we can tell people can you can you look at this can you try to change can this impact you in a way or influence you to reconsider change your behavior don't be harsh don't be hard don't be wicked Somebody just said something about a lecturer years ago. The lecturer had probably even forgotten, but he, one of, some of the students eventually became lawyers, senators, and he met one of them at a future ministerial screening and is standing where some of the students he taught years back, he didn't know he would be meeting at the Senate. And they have to stand and say, I know this man. During his days while he was a lecturer, this, that, those happened. And I have the following to say about the character of the person standing before the Senate. I don't know the person who is giving the testimony. I don't even know the lecturer. I don't know any of them. But I saw the video and I felt we can, we can say something about this. Can we talk? What are you doing where you are today? Oh, let's even assume also it won't count here on earth. Let's also assume, let's now assume if you're a Christian or Muslim. I'll assume you'll now believe there will be some kind of judgment or session sharing after, like in the life year after, like after death, <laughs> heaven or hell. I've not been there, so I don't know. I'm, so let's just say if there will be heaven or hell judgment, judgment to consider you for or qualify you for either heaven or hell. I used if because. I have not been there and I don't have conclusive evidence as to heaven or hell after death. So don't crucify me for saying if there will be. So uh -huh. because of that, in case you have been, so let's say if there will be for me and when there will be as you know, in case you know uh, you have been there. So that's testimonies about people who had encounters with you will matter in whether you will make heaven 
or go to hell. What, what do you think testimonies would determine or would do about your faith? Your faith to go to either heaven or hell. An assumption. No. So, the video touched me somehow, even though I don't believe in Nigeria's sentence of joke, right? So don't get me wrong. I don't believe in Nigeria's sentence. By the way, in case it, it, I mean, it pricks your conscience or touches your heart that you like what I do, or you like what I say, somehow, or even if you don't like it, but you just feel like this guy, in in it, you know, get more. You say what you say because you know, get. You won't put some. Just send prayer to my mailbox, by the way. <laughs> Send prayer to my mailbox. Apagio is sending prayer to mailboxes. They send it through the clerk. Is it the clerk or what they call it? The... <laughs> they are sending prayers to mailboxes. I need your prayers. Send prayers to me <laughs> in case you have my mailbox. Please send me prayers. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I just want to say that. Please behave well. Be of good character. Guide people. Correct people with love. Let them know what they are doing wrongly. Help them do it better. Help them get better. Because you don't know what the help you are doing for them today will make them will do for them to become whatever that you will also later meet in future. So please do well today because it will count tomorrow. Bye for now.